Hello, I'm Stephanie Viesca and this is your Santa Barbara Newswire update. On March 9th, President Obama lifted the ban on using federal money for embryonic stem cell research. The ban was enacted on August 9, 2001 and decreed that not a cent of federal money could be used in research, except for the few stem cell lines that had been created before that date. The ban forced researchers to create separate, privately financed labs in order to study the diseases they hoped to cure with stem cells. Now, biomedical workers can apply for grants from the National Institute of Health rather than getting stem cell lines through private money. Using federal money, they can also work on more stem cell lines than were previously available. This issue is particularly relevant in California, where the California Institute for Regenerative Medicine was created in 2005 for the purpose of funding research for cures using stem cells. The Institute recently gave UC Santa Barbara a $1.2 million grant for its stem cell biology and engineering work. UCSB's Department of Molecular, Cellular, and Developmental Biology has both pre- and postdoctoral students studying stem cell proliferation and differentiation, as well as bioengineering. So the Center for Stem Cell Biology and Engineering here at UC Santa Barbara is a little bit different than other uh, stem cell research programs in the state. We don't have a medical school here at UC Santa Barbara, uh, so we focused on the basic molecular biology of stem cells and uh, engineering challenges that have to be solved if stem cells are going to go forward into the clinic. I mean, we need to figure out, number one, how to make the right kind of cell. Number two, how to deliver those cells to the right place in the right time and keep them alive. And then number three, uh, then go forward to clinical trials. Right now, researchers' goals are modest. They hope to use stem cells to track how specific diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's develop. Stem cells have great potential to fight many diseases and someday may work better than drugs or surgery to repair the human body. This has been your Santa Barbara Newswire update. Remember to catch us right here on Channel 21 or check us out online at sbchannels.net. I'm Stephanie Viesca and you've just been wired.